945. It is time to imagine it. Carl Nelson, never disappointing. Uh, I guess we're talking about electricity today in some form. I'm seeing a lot of electricity and pickles. <laughs> we are. Okay. So I, I brought this little toy from our gift shop. It's really kind of clever. It's got a circuit inside that can generate a really tiny current. Okay. And then it can detect when that current is flowing in a complete circuit. Oh. So strip at the top and strip at the bottom. If I connect them, it lights oh. up and makes a noise. Nice. Okay. Every parent's dream. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Yes. You can put both hands across. Oh. You, you can okay. grab. Just grab one. I'll grab your hand. Oh, wow. And we can turn it on because the current's flowing through both that's of our really bodies. That's really cool. Okay. okay, so you're learning. That, that's neat. So okay. it's, it's, it's annoying, but it is kind of cool. Yeah. Now, I made a, a cruder version of that using uh, three batteries, some corks, and some wires, and this light bulb. So if okay. you hold that. Sure. So if the current flows through these two little probes down here, mm -hmm. the light bulb will light up. Ah, okay, stick yes. Stick a, a metal spoon across This them. is about junior high, maybe junior high science. We yeah. might learn something like yeah. this, maybe even first year of high school, right? Exactly. Okay. And now this worked by sending a current through our bodies because our bodies have water in them. Mm -hmm. And that water helps conduct the electricity. Okay. So we could actually test that here. I got a container of distilled water, mm -hmm. and if I stick the probes down inside of it, you notice that the light bulb doesn't really do anything. Right. Is that because it's distilled water? It's distilled water. Ah, yeah. There are no ions in it. But okay. if we if we go crazy with a little salt here, mm -hmm. just throw a bunch of sodium chloride in there, stir it up, that'll provide some ions, just like in our cells in our body. In our body, yep. Which should allow ah, the light bulb to light up. And probably the more salt, the brighter the bulb. Uh, yes, okay. exactly. The more ions, the more current you can flow through there. I'm now, learning something, Carl. This is good. Okay, <laughs> now, you mentioned pickles, though, and this is one of my favorite things for, like, as we approach Halloween. Okay. Here, is that if you take a pickle, and pickles have... Who doesn't love pickles? Don't trust anybody that doesn't love everybody a pickle. Everybody loves right? pickles, right? <laughs> they're salty, they're crunchy, and that salt is what provides a conductive path through Which the pickle. we just talked about, because you just put a lot of salt in here. Clearly, that's the one thing pickles are known for. Sodium. Exactly. Now, if I tried to light this pickle up or to connect it across this 18 volts... Oh, should I still hold this? No, no, okay. no that's okay. It's not going to work. Okay. It's not enough voltage. So we're going to have to step things up a bit to 110 volts. Wow. Now, this is something you don't want to try at home, but we do it at the science center. And 110, is that's what's typically... In a uh, wall outlet. In a wall, okay. So you can imagine what's going to happen to this pickle is we're going to apply 110 volts. It has conductive liquid inside. Side. This is what could happen if your hand were to be connected to 110 volts. So this is why you don't want to play with electricity okay. of that form. Right. But if you just press down on that little pedal Kay. and hold it down, oh. we're going to send some current through there and some really cool things are happening. As that current begins to flow through the pickle, uh -huh. it's going to heat up the pickle juice. Pickle juice is going to turn to steam. That steam is going to dry out the pickle. The electricity will start to arc across those dark spots wow. and you'll get that spark yeah, in action. Yeah, you can even see a little bit of a tiny little, yeah, like spark and flame You can see almost. sparks and wow. flame coming out all because of that high voltage and that current that is flowing through that pickle, hmm. which is really pretty cool. This is something we do during our spooky science show. That's yeah, why this looks very it sounds scary. scary looking. Gosh. But it, is, you know, it, is, it just goes for quite a while. Because you can start to smell it. And it's, we're actually frying the pickle. Oh, well, now, I like fried pickles, but I, not this I don't, type. I don't think you want to no? eat this. Okay. Really gross. <laughs> so just purely for science here, not okay. for eating. But some cool things that we're doing down at the Science Center for uh, Spooky Science in October. Cool. And also, you only have a couple more days to see Titanic. Yes, we just mentioned that uh, just today and tomorrow exactly. before it uh, goes away. Exactly. For good. Sh ships away. Yeah. And, of course, today is Saturday, so 12 and under with an adult admission from Lucas County. Get in free. Awesome. Sounds good. And are there specific times that the Spooky Science is happening once we hit October? Um, you can check our website for that stuff in awesome. October when that starts to happen. But this is a little preview of some of the cool stuff we'll be doing yeah, for Spooky neat. Science. Yeah, pretty neat. And one more question for you. If we were to keep this going, yeah. would the pickle eventually just dissolve? It wouldn't dissolve, but what would happen is as that current flows between there and uh -huh. dries it out, there would no longer be a conductive path. So we wouldn't see this anymore. And the spark can, and everything would go away. You can see right now it's kind of happening that way. The sparking is slowing down. Okay. It's not being as uh, conductive anymore. All right. Awesome. Well, Carl Nelson, thanks so much. As always, very informative. You can go down to the Imagination Station. That is in downtown Toledo. From there, let's send it over to the guys. They have a wrap sports.